Hi everybody, it's Chris here. Uh, before I get started on this week's uh, wood turning video, I'd just like to take a few moments of your time to uh, ask for your help, please. Uh, ooh, get me sounding all serious. <laughs> Holy moly. Uh, yeah, what it is, is uh, obviously you know about the charity that I'm an ambassador for, the Speed of Sight. Uh, well, what it is, Mike Newman, the founder and CEO of the charity, is doing another uh, land speed record uh, next Monday, the 26th. So uh, obviously these these record attempts they, they go a long way to improving the profile of the charity and showing showing people around the world, you know, what disabled people are, are capable of, you know, and really they're capable of anything, you know. Uh, as I hope my videos are showing to you know my viewers and subscribers that you know even massive disability such as blindness you know isn't the end of it all we can all gain something from that challenge and you know make our lives better so anyway uh, Mike's asking you know for donations to the charity uh, and I forwarded an email to a few people whose emails I have got so these these record attempts you know they do cost a lot of money to put on uh, you know the, the insurance and you know the vehicles and the, the logistics you know the, the costs are, are quite high but what Mike would really like people to do is uh, go to the website or you can do it via his Facebook page speedofsight.org and You'll find the link. You know, if if anybody can spare just you know a pound, you know, well, as much as you could spare. But even if it is a pound, you know, or a dollar, or a euro, or whatever the currency is where you happen to live, you know, uh, Australian dollars, Canadian dollars, you know, anything. If you can spare just a little amount and donate to the charity, you know, this will enable lots and lots of disabled children and men and women you know who would never have the opportunity to have you know a lot of fun in these cars you know to have an amazing day you know uh, and it's a massive massive boost to our self-confidence to be put in these cars and realize that we can drive them and we can drive them pretty damn well you know so like me who used to drive and ride bikes years ago and then you know to have that all taken away from me you know it's a wonderful wonderful gift that Mike uh, provides through the charity so really yeah it's it's uh, asking for your help whatever you can spare speedofsight.org you can make a donation there or check out the Facebook page uh, that's all I really need to say so thank you so so much for listening to me uh, waffle on for a couple of minutes it means the world to me that you've just listened to it so please please help if you can and you know uh, we're going one step further to making a lot of disabled people's dreams and wishes a reality so thank you very much and uh, we'll get on with the video now of uh, wood turning thanks a lot bye Okay everybody, we're uh, in the garage now. So what I'll be doing today is I'm going to turn a, a beach bowl. I've got a blank here. And to all the new subscribers that have, uh, that have joined me recently, hello, massive thank you. Very much appreciated. Uh, I hope you enjoy uh, what you're about to see and you keep coming back for more and more. So. Uh, what we need to do now is measure this bowl just to let uh, you know how big it is. So if I just so it's six inches in diameter and two inches, two inches, inches. thick. So 
that'll turn off in a second so yeah it's great to have all you new subscribers and listeners so uh, what I'm going to do is obviously get this running true round it up square the face off and then we'll take it from there so let's get started on making it more true Okay everybody, I've got that that blank in better balance now uh, and what I've done is I've used my little template with the tailstock centre sticking through and I've used my thin parting tool just to give me a dimension for the chuck to work in expansion mode so I can put that back now. So what I need to do now is make the recess for the mortise so let's just Okay everybody, I've, I've done the mortise now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand it up to 400, which you don't need to see, boring, and then uh, I'll, I'm going to put some texture in with the spiralling tool, so come back when I've uh, sanded this and uh, I'll show you how I spiral it. Okay, the mortise is done and sanded up to 400, so I've got now my small spiralling tool. Uh, so I'm just going to present it to the base now and put a little uh, pattern. So the first one I'll do will be a spiral. So let's just turn the speed right down. Quite firm pressure. Now, all being well, that should have put quite a nice spiral on there, and that feels lovely. That so. So what I'll do now is I'll just find my thin parting tool. I'll put a line to the outside edge. side edge. Now that's left a bit of a bubble. I think I went too close to the inside edge so I'll just uh, nibble that out so I'll be back in a sec okay just brought you in a bit closer so I've got a, a spiral a little bubble in the middle and 
That's a little, uh, a little, a little <laughs> design change there, but it works. And uh, spiral. So there you go. So we'll start uh, shaping the outside of the bowl now. Okay, let's start shaping the outside of the bowl. Right, I'm happy with that shape, so let's just have a feel around here now. Okay, I've got my, yeah, I've got my scraper there now, so I'm just going to start just getting rid of some of this, this tear out. It's not that bad, it's quite a good, quite a good finish straight off the tool, so let's just get scraping. Very, very light. Just Okay, I've <clears throat> I've finished the outside and I've just burnished the bottom with some shaving. So I'm going to sand the outside up now, and then I'm going to texture the outside uh, quite a lot. Actually, uh, was listening to Martin's uh, Martin Seven Smith's Aztec Angst, and I thought, you know there's a guy that's not afraid to uh, you know do do what he feels like doing you know it's it's my it's my bowl so screw it I'm gonna texture it I want it to be very tactile I want to enjoy the piece in my hands so yeah I'm gonna sand it uh, but not overly sand it because I'm gonna like I say go heavy on the texture so it's it's a it's a good experimental bowl for me so you can come back when I've uh, sanded it and we'll get to texturing it then. Okay, I've got the uh, the big fella out now. This is uh, a double beveled texturing wheel. So this is the one that will give it, well, I'm gonna give it some orange peel at the top. So I just need to make sure that that's on its lowest speed. Just get lined up and it's just gonna be side to side motion so let's just see how this goes I do love that. So what I need to do now is just put that down and then way carnage. And if I just move that in now, I'll give it a line. Uh, below that so just
Okay, everybody, I've spinned the uh, the bowl around. Just excuse me while I come back round there. Spin the bowl around, so I'm going to start hollowing the inside out. Now the outside's done, and because it's quite heavily textured, I'll uh, apply Danish oil to the outside of the bowl, so there's no clumps of wax sat in grooves and things. So let's just find my centre mark. I'll just square this face off first. Uh, I'm just going to have a go now with the uh, the gouge, just to prove that I've still got some uh, traditional skills. So here we go. I can feel the nice curl is coming off there, so... Nice and gentle. Doing some scraping now, just to get rid of that nib there. Right, I'm more than. Happy with that now. Right, so it'll be uh, on with the sanding now. Right, I'm <coughs> I've sanded the inside. Now, what I'm going to have a go at next is probably going to get most of you going oh my god you can see what I've got here you know it's a uh, it's a blowtorch now uh, I'm I'm willing and I am gonna have a go at doing this because I'm so intrigued with the whole scorching and coloring thing you know I don't want to sort of like miss that that ship so uh, I do use a gas hob in the kitchen all the time. I've been to college and done a cookery course where we've used gas burners. You know, I'm safe around gas. So all I've got to remember is nice gentle flame, you know, and just keep the, obviously the handles here so I know that it's pointing that way. Don't get too close. I just want to have a go. So, you know, that's me. I've got to, I've got to have a go. Does this unlock? So just turn it down as so my hand will be turning the work from right at the back of the headstock where the pulleys are so my hand my left hand is nowhere near the work 
Castro. Let's have a go. Is anything happening? I don't suppose it will happen instantly, but... Need to let that cool down anyway so we'll let it cool down okay everybody I've scorched the inside and the, and the lip and uh, I've had a feel and I think it's got a bit of a wobble on but uh, that's cool love it not burnt the garage down so I'll be back in a minute, I'll just give it a light sanding. Okay everybody, here's my first scorched bowl. So, uh, I haven't got a clue what it looks like, obviously. So you guys will have to be uh, judge, jury and executioner on that one. So, uh, please be gentle with me. <laughs> Look, seriously, that's, you know, that's, that's a big thing for me. Uh, trying something completely new uh, that I've been wanting to do for ages and listening to everyone scorching and colouring you know it's you know I, I sit I sit listening to all these videos and I'm thinking should I try that can I try that and then today I thought bugger it I will try that because that's what I'm all about trying new stuff so I've, I've textured the outside uh, with the uh, texturing and spiraling tool so Hope you can make out the detail there on the outside and there's the underside in the mortise uh, so it's a little beach bowl with some scorching inside it's probably resembles a piece of uh, charcoal but it feels it feels okay and everything but it's probably just a mass of black uh, so I don't know if you're catching any of it if I just spin it around hopefully I've not completely killed killed the bowl but anyway I'm I'm very happy I had a go and the bowl didn't didn't set on fire so that's it really that's another bowl done so I hope I hope you've liked it uh, and thank you once again to all my new subscribers and new viewers and everything you know, uh, I couldn't do it without, without all your help and support. So, uh, I'm pretty much done now for today. So, uh, hope to speak to you all soon. And I'll, even though I'm massively busy next week with Halloween stuff, hopefully I'll get time to do uh, a tea, tea and tea. So, thank you everybody. Uh, have a great weekend. Bye. Oh yeah, one more thing. Don't forget to please like, share and comment. Cheerio. Bye.